Welcome back. In this fourth section of the course, we will dive into the world of layouts in React Native. At the core of layout design in React Native is Flexbox, which is a powerful one-dimensional layout model used to arrange elements within a container. With Flexbox, you have the freedom to arrange items either horizontally from left to right or right to left, or vertically from top to bottom or bottom to top. Additionally, you can easily control the spacing and alignment of items within the container. Let's take a moment to understand what Flexbox is all about. In essence, Flexbox consists of two main entities, the Flex container and the Flex items. The parent container, usually a view component, is referred to as the Flex container, while the immediate children elements are called Flex items. In this sample UI we have here, the parent view acts as the flex container and all the children views serve as flex items. When working with Flexbox, we encounter two axes, the main axis and the cross axis. By default, the main axis runs from left to right and the cross axis is perpendicular to it, running from top to bottom. However, in React Native, it is the opposite. The main axis runs top to bottom and the cross axis left to right. Very important to remember this. Now understanding Flexbox is a straightforward process, much like learning CSS. You'll need to familiarize yourself with the various Flexbox properties and understand how they function. Once you grasp the concepts of Flexbox, you'll have a solid understanding of how layouts are created in React Native. And that is precisely what we will be focusing on in this section, exploring different Flexbox properties while arranging elements on the screen. If this is clear, join me in the next video where we will write some code that will set us up for the rest of this section. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.